Hey guys, so today we're gonna be making Mexican hot chocolate pudding, but we're gonna be using chia seeds instead. And it's this really uh, great thing. Um, what you wanna do is go to your local health food store and get a package of chia seeds. I think Costco has them as well. And what happens is um, you let these seeds absorb any kind of liquid, so kind of like uh, coconut water, milk, or soy milk, and it absorbs eight times its weight in water, and it forms up into these kind of tapioca pearls. And if you want, you can blend it um, or not. I like blending it because it has a nicer consistency. So if you guys are interested in learning how to make Mexican hot chocolate pudding, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so this is what you need. I have a Bosque pear, a Gala apple. Now I, I always use Gala apples because I like them, they're really sweet. I don't really like any other kind of apples. Um, you can use Andrew pears if you like as well. This one just has the harder skin, but we're gonna peel it anyways. We're gonna peel this as well. And I have two sweet potatoes. You can use like one large one, it doesn't really matter. And you just want to cook both of those, or sorry, cook all of them. And you can bake it, microwave it, doesn't really matter. Don't steam it because I feel like it loses all of its flavor. So I don't think you really need any directions for this, but I just kind of poked some holes into it. I'm going to microwave it with the skin on. And this, I'm going to uh, microwave this as well and just, um, I don't know, however many minutes until it's pretty much cooked through. So what I have here is chia seed, and this is gonna be the base for the um, kind of the chocolate pudding that I'm making. And it's really cool, it's healthy, and what you do is soak it in um, milk or water or, I don't know, like soy milk, almond milk, coconut water, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna add the chia seeds to a bowl. And that's about, I don't know, a third cup. And I'm adding skim milk to this. And I usually add about that much. So about two cups of milk for one third cup of chia seeds. Really doesn't matter how much you add, just, you know, add more liquids if you need it. And what you want to do is just mix this around and set it aside. You can put it in the fridge and, I don't know, for about like 10 minutes, come back to it and mix it again and it should be a little bit more thicker. So the chia has been um, kind of sitting for a little bit and you can see that it clumps off. So you just want to break those clumps. Okay, so I added the pears, apples, and the, um, the sweet potato into my blender and now I'm just going to blend it. So I just added some frozen corn and the reason I add um, fruits and other sweet things is because I don't want to add any sugar so I kind of prefer the natural sweetness to adding sugar. And you want to stop blending when it's silky smooth. Um, if you don't really have a blender that can liquefy things, maybe don't use the corn because you want to um, pulverize the outer skin to make sure it's really, really smooth. You don't want any chunks in this. All right guys, you got a couple options here on how you can flavor this. Um, when I used to make it, I used to just use cocoa powder and some stevia, just to make it a little bit sweeter. Um, but then I fell in love with this Mexican hot chocolate. Um, I'm not gonna use this as a flavoring because I'd rather just keep this for my drinks. So what you can do is use cocoa powder, um, a little bit of cayenne pepper, cinnamon, and stevia if you want. If you don't have stevia, you can use agave or just sugar. But um, I found that I didn't really need to add any kind of sugars because I had all the other sweetness. And what you can also do, and I did this before, is use some kind of um, hot chocolate drink, which is also good. Okay, so once you're satisfied on the consistency of the chia, just add it to your mixture and blend this before you add in any of the um, flavorings. If you guys are gonna use the hot chocolate mix, um, you can do like two heaping tablespoons, but for this I'm gonna, like, I don't know, you can just add it to your taste. So I'm gonna add like two of these of cocoa powder. And then, that much of cinnamon, maybe like a 
teaspoon or two, two teaspoons. And this is cayenne pepper. Now you can add however much you like. Um, if you can't handle hot things, don't add too much. And we're just gonna blend this. So the consistency should look like this. And it's pretty thick. And what you wanna do is just let it sit in the refrigerator before you serve it. Um, I didn't add any sweetener, but if you want, just honestly, just add some agave or um, liquid syrup or whatever. I don't really like things that are sweet, so yeah. Um, stevia is a really good option. I drink so much coffee, and if I did use sugar, um, <laughs> I'd probably be packing on the pounds. But uh, yeah, stevia is awesome. It's like this sweet leaf, and it's, yeah, it's just, go bite it. It's awesome. And this is what the final dish looks like. Um, you can layer it with some blueberries and then top it with whipped cream or, this is actually Greek yogurt and I just put a little bit of stevia in it. And you can put some coconuts on top and I put a little bit of cayenne pepper and a mint leaf. And yeah, it's a really super simple, healthy dessert. Okay, taste tester. How is the final dish? It's kind of mousse-like, eh? Very good. Excellent. Has a little kick to it. Yeah, the cayenne pepper, eh? Very good. <laughs>